Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. One of the classic rivalries in all of college football. We are getting you ready for the pageantry surrounding the Army-Navy game. At stake, the Commander-in-Chief's trophy. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 31. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. Inside the 30, the 10. Touchdown, midshipman. converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. Brought down at the 21-yard line. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. They just gave the defense a gift by handing him the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. From their own 26 yard line. It's third down. He scrambles. And he's tackled at the 31 yard line. An incredible series for the defense and they get him out after three plays. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time. Hogan will be the return man. It's a decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. We're about set to start things up again. Navy is up by a touchdown. And now he's got room to run. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Three, three, three. 
Laterals back. And they get nice yardage on that run. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. Tackle made to the 38-yard line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. We've got a third and six here. Ball on the 38-yard line. He's on the run, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of three yards on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. Merrill back to return it. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Navy's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's out to the 30. Brought down to 39-yard line. And the fullback made him pay big time on that little run. No joke. He busted through there for some nice, nice yardage. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. From their own 42-yard line, it's third down. Now he's going to run and watch out. Slides down. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right and they still lose that time they had tight coverage which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off and they make the stop around the 44 yard line taken down around the 35 yard line it's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down they'll get him for a loss there was just no daylight on that play and the defensive lineman was the reason well that's one way to get involved in the game great stop in the backfield And this play is number eight on the drive. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. to his receiver. Tackle at about the 19-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. From the 19-yard line. Second down. anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on them. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. K 
Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Reed looks ready to kick this one off. From the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. The question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses, but I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. So we're just about ready to return to action. Navy holds a four-point lead. And now the ball is free. The defense falls on it. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 7-3, Navy. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. The 10 makes it to the 8. Gets to about the 5 yard line. They come out in a goal line set. up the fumble and that's exactly what this defense was looking for yeah that fumble gives these guys some added life now let's see if they can capitalize off of it in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions navy is up four Gets out to about the six-yard line. Makes it out to about the 20. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it second and six. He tackles him for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. It's third and nine. Ball on the 21. He's looking for his man. And he hits him hard at the 45. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. <laughs> he threw that ball so hard, I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Makes it to the 47. Wow. 
Navy is up by four. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it first and ten. Tackles him hard at the 44. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 44 yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Pressure coming. They go back to him on a quick throw. And he's hit immediately. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Porter is waiting for the snap. is into the end zone and this will be a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive, so let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. He gained a couple of yards on the keeper. Army will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 33. And there isn't anyone who's going to catch this cornerback. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. From the 33-yard line, first down. Navy holds a four-point lead. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. And he's tackled around the 16-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. First and 10. Ball on the 16. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Ingram comes away with about four there on the option play. Navy's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Rose, and that one's going to hit. 
hit the ground incomplete. This one should be makeable. The kick is up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Lowe has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Alexander from the four. He makes it to the 25-yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. He scrambles, and he dives forward. hit before it can go anywhere that's the end of the half and believe it or not folks it's still anyone's ball game 10-3 Navy we've played 30 minutes glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get it. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works, and it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs, and you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long, you're in a perfect situation, you give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game, so I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually, the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 27. They're ready to begin another drive. Navy is up seven. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. Taken down at the 39. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Makes it to the 44. That makes it first and ten. Robinson is in. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 44. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Makes it out to about the 36. That's a gain of eight on the play. Ball's coming out quick. That brings up second and one. Easy, 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 easy. 
They bring him down in the backfield. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Nice run there. Navy is up a score. They go to the left for a nice game. That's good for the game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and two. Here we go! to him before he could get back to the line. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. This is the 11th play of this drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of seven yards. Third down. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made around the two-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it first and goal. And they make the stop around the one-yard line. That brings him second and goal. Tax on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Merrill takes it at the 8. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Navy's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He's tackled at the 28. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. He's on the run. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Hogan is back deep to return. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Navy's built on their halftime lead here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, I think they've done a really good job of finding some matchups to their advantage, and they've just gone after this defense, and it's allowed them to put up some points on the board. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He makes it out to about the 47-yard line. He's 
the 40. Gets out to around the 38. That's a beautiful team now. That makes it first and 10. They'll get him for a loss. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. Bring up second and 12. From the 40-yard line, second down. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the midshipmen lead 17-3. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Too little, tough cut. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Come on. And a quick throw. A lot of emotion over there with the coaching staff on the sideline. The defense did their job, and they've got a lot of confidence that their offense can come back and take the lead. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He's into the open field. He gets hit out of bounds. The 39-yard line. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Brought down right around the 50. in and he's got a lane he makes his way to about the 38 that's another first down brad and right now you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down back deep into their own territory he gets out to about the 35 yard line that'll make it second and seven He makes it to the 32-yard line. Runs it left for a decent game. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. around the 28-yard line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Roger, Roger. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Dad, get you. Get you. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Just under three to go in regulation. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 15-yard line. This offense is trying to put the memory of that fumble on their last red zone trip behind them here. And he's going to come up with a sack.
And this is the 11th play of the current drive. run up the middle. Slings it. And he's tackled at the 11-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. talk about offense all you want and they were good today but the defense was better they come up with a play of the day and that'll lead to the victory both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop makes it out to maybe the 13 yard line Two-yard carry by the fullback. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. They line up at the 13. It's second down. A little over a minute in the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The Black Knights are going to call their second timeout. Get him in the backfield for a loss. Well, I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Man, this has just been a classic defensive battle all game long. I've been so impressed with both of these defenses, especially the defensive line. They've been stout against the run. They've gotten pressure on the quarterback. It's made it tough for either one of these offenses to put up any points. We're about set to start things up again. Going long. Incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on it. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Taken down at about the 27 yard line. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. From the 27 yard line, second down. We have less than a minute to go. hit immediately. Spikes the ball. throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's under pressure. Throws out and through his hands. So they're going to go for it here. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter.
The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And they'll bring him down behind the line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. This one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 17-3, Navy. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Navy came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.